Hi, and welcome to the Mastercam 2022 Migration Wizard video presented by Fast Tech. This is Josh Comet. I'll be the presenter today. The topics we'll be covering in this video are going to be the default file locations, file backups. Also, we'll look at updating Mastercam resource files, um, such as tool libraries, post processors, operation libraries, operation defaults, our RenMF files, which are the Renishaw probing files, machine simulations, config files, and workspace files. Now, keep in mind, files can be stored in uh, outside of the standardized locations, such as uh, tool libraries could be stored on a server or the post processors, um, etc. So if you keep any files outside of the standard locations, it's um, important to update those as well. And there's a separate video that we have that t covers that. We'll link you to that video at the end of this one. So for, the, for any files stored uh, outside of standard locations that we'll be covering in this video, you can review our our more advanced video that talks about those types of updates. All right, well, let's dive right in. So first off, we're going to go ahead and open up our file explorer, and we're going to swing over to our documents folder. So right on the, the documents, and this is where you can find what we call, what was previously known as the user data folder. Now it's, now it's called the My Mastercam folder, but user data folder was the terminology that was previously used. And when you launch your Mastercam, typically you will find that location right under File Configuration on the Files page. And this is where you can view which data path it's using. So you can always start your previous version of Mastercam and come to this page and look here. But that should be the specific folder that Mastercam's using. And as mentioned, this previously was known as the User Data folder. Now it's listed as the My Mastercam folder. And what this file is going to contain is things like your config file, your workspace file, uh, your simulator defaults file, which is, which is what your verify settings open up with. Um, so jumping right into this config folder, you can see we have both of our, both our inch and our metric config files. This is where all your, um, your settings related to your background colors and your editors and things of that are located. You also have your workspace file. This is where your toolbar settings and your right-click menu settings are located. Um, so updating this folder typically carries over all the interface settings and the user-specific settings. And you may notice this is also stored on the user's profile, so the user's documents folder, not the public documents folder. That way, each user that logs into the PC can have their own specific settings. So let's begin by making a backup of this folder. I'm going to simply right-click and choose Send to Compressed Zip Folder. This is going to zip up the folder with all of its contents, and I'm also going to date this folder as well for today. Now, this folder we can save elsewhere um, if you'd like to. I'm going to leave it in this location for now, but typically we want to keep that as a nice backup for later. We probably won't need it, but I always feel it's a good idea to make backups right off the beginning, or right when we begin, rather. Now let's swing over to our C drive, open up Users, public, and then public documents. And this is the location you can find the shared folder for Mastercam. Now that terminology has not changed in many years, so you can still expect to see that same terminology in previous versions. And this location is specified right here under file config and Mastercam. So that standard location, C users, public, public documents, shared Mastercam 2022 is where we can typically expect to find all of our shared related files. And those are the name for that folder is um, is typically, in my opinion, decided on because this is where you'd this is typically where you'd share, with the, or this is typically the folder you'd want to share with other users. So this folder contains all the files that most users would want to share, things like tool libraries, post processors, operation libraries. Um, those are the types of files that we would find in here. So as an example, if we jump right into this CNC machines folder, you can see this is where we have our machine definition files. So there's a mach mill machine definition. We also would be able to find our, our wire machine definitions in here, our router machine definitions, um, among the control definitions as well. There's a, a lathe machine definition that I'm looking at right here. So you'll, you'll be able to find all your different machine and control definitions, typically in this location. Now keep in mind, users have the ability to store these files elsewhere, as mentioned previously, but these are the standard locations that we typically would expect to find them. So if we swing back here to the shared Mastercam 2020 folder and jump into mill post, this is where we would find the PST or the post files. 
Now the post files are what typically generate the G code for Mastercam. They can have a couple different types of file extensions. You can find PSTs, PSBs, but it would typically just be a good idea to update the entire folder. All right, we'll also, if we jump back into the mill folder, we can find our tool libraries in the tools folder. Just like under shared Mastercam 2021 lathe, we have a tools folder as well for the lathe tools. Um, and then we also would be able to find our operation files in there too, such as operation defaults and operation libraries as well. Okay, well, let's go ahead and make a backup of this folder. I'm gonna just simply right click, choose send to compressed zip folder. And this zip folder I'm gonna label with today's date as well. And this will back up for, um, for use in case we need it later. Now, keep in mind, depending on how many files you have in these folders, it can take a different amount of time to back up. So uh, you may need to wait less time or more time, but it's typically relatively fast to send that to a zip folder. Okay, one more file I, I suppose I forgot to mention is back to the user data folder. There's also the parts, uh, the default parts location is right here in the user data folder as well. This is where your default save location is for parts. Okay. Let's go ahead and move on by opening up Mastercam 2022 and we'll perform that basic migration. Now we'll choose a basic migration in this video. So first we choose the file button and then convert and then migration wizard. And here's where you'll have the option for basic or advanced. The reason we'll choose basic is because we have our files in standard locations or in the default locations that Mastercam typically would store them. If you are going to, if you have your files outside of standard, standardized locations, it would be an advanced. And I would recommend you watch our video that we have linked at the end of this video. That'll talk about a more advanced migration where we're updating files that are in non-standard non or uh, not in the default locations that Mastercam chooses. All right, so with basic, we can leave these settings on defaults because it's gonna see the, the previous version locations and the previous version file folder structure. So it pulled in the right folders. You can see those there. Now, one more thing to mention is this Mastercam migration wizard will only work for up to three versions back. So if you're updating from anything prior to Mastercam 2019, you'll need to first update to 2019 or anything within three versions, and then you can perform the next migration to the next release. All right, well, we'll hit next. We're gonna then choose finish. And I'm back. That might've taken just a, a couple minutes, depending on how many files you, you had to update, but we're presented with our first question. So this has found files with the si similar names or the same name rather uh, from the previous version. I can tell it's one of my post processors that I use. So I, I would rather keep, um, I would rather let that update and replace the new version of that file. So I'm simply gonna choose apply this to all subsequent conflicts. As long as I'm confident that all these files, I'm okay with overwriting from the previous version. And then I can choose update and replace. And that's gonna go ahead and move on to the next step. And this may take a few more minutes. And we're back. So that process may take a few minutes to complete depending on how many files you have in those folders. Uh, at the end, it'll say, do you wanna see the results? And we can typically choose no. And that completes the migration. You can then simply go to your machine tab, load in whatever machines you want using mill, manage list. This is where typically they will, they will list out whichever ones we might have. I'll just add a couple. And then you can do the same for lathe, mill turn, and whichever product, other products you might use. Well, I hope this video is helpful. If you, uh, if you need some assistance or running any problems, feel free to reach out to us directly. Uh, you can always contact us directly at 419-425-2233 or you can send us an email via, via our, our email or via our website. Uh, if you just choose contact us, you can contact us directly and we'll be happy to assist with the process. And if you're not our customer, feel free to reach out to your local Mastercam reseller and I'm sure they will be happy to help as well with any, any of your questions.